Today we're going to make a simple cinematic using Unity. Um, I'm using Unity 2021 HDRP. HDRP is used for high quality, um, high definition rendering for things like doing cinematics. So we're going to create a cinematic project using the Ready Player Me avatars and I'm going to show the full pipeline to create a simple project. So let's get this started by clicking on a new project. Uh, as I said, I'm using 2021. Currently, this is the latest version, .1.25, and I'm using HDRP. Um, let's go ahead and name this something fun. Uh, let's, we're going to do a chicken dance. That'll be fun. And so we'll create that project. While that's creating the project and starting Unity, let's go over to Ready Player One and get our avatars ready. So here I am on readyplayer.me. I've gone to my hub. I've already created three characters. Let's go ahead and go through the process of creating a new avatar real quick. So we'll create a new avatar. Um, we need full body for this. Let's go with a masculine this time. No, I'm not going to use a photo. Uh, we'll use a basic character. Oh, he looks interesting. So there's my character. Let's, we can of course make all kinds of modifications to him. That red hair, we need to make him a little more pale. Um, and let's give him some different clothing. Maybe something like this. Yeah, that'll go with my other characters really well. We can, of course, modify the hairstyle, giving a slightly different look. Oh, I like that. Uh, we can change the eye color with that red hair. He probably has green eyes. And I could give him sunglasses. Or just glasses. There we go. What do we think of that? That works. Okay, I like that. So, and of course, you can put makeup, masks, hats, all kinds of cool stuff, but we're trying to keep this fairly short. You can spend quite a bit of time creating your avatar. So we're gonna prepare our avatar here. Uh, this will just take a few seconds. Okay, our avatar is created. We're ready to go with that. The next thing that we need to do is get our Unity up. Um, it's still creating the, the, the level. So we will need to use the Unity Avatar SDK, which can be downloaded from the Ready Player Me website. If you go to docs.readyplayer.me, you can go get the different types of tools needed. Uh, we are going to want to use some Mixamo animations to get this ready. I'll include the link for downloading the SDK for Unity in the description below. Okay, we've got our Unity scene open now. That didn't take too long. If it's your first time to open this, it may have to do some shader compiling, um, but I've run this a few times now, so I'm hopefully I won't run into any problems like that. Let's create a new scene. So file, new scene. And I'm gonna set this as a basic outdoor HDRP. We'll do a create. Uh, yeah, we'll call it outdoor scene, that's fine. And now we've got our outdoor scene. Uh, first thing I need to do to this environment is let's add a plane for the characters to be dancing on. So we'll add a 3D object plane. There we go. Set at 0, 0, 0. That's always a good way to work from things. And let's go over here by the camera so I get the camera angle correct. Good. Okay, next thing we need to do is pull in that Player Ready, Ready Me SDK that I mentioned. So we need to download that. If you haven't already done, done that, just click on the download and you'll be ready to go. Once it downloads, just simply drag it into your project. Make sure you select assets there. Uh, drag that in. 
and we will import that into our project. This will give us the full SDK and all kinds of really cool stuff with it. Once that loads, you'll get the avatar loader, which also can be loaded from your menu up here. You got an avatar loader and a web view partner editor. Uh, we're just on we're only going to be using the avatar loader for this. First thing we need to do is get into the app the Ready Player Me tool set and jump over to Mixamo so that we can get the animations that we're going to be using for this particular project. So to do that, we'll jump over here, move this off the screen a little bit, and go to our plugins, the Wolf 3D, go to your resources, and then animation targets. And you're going to have a female animation and a male animation, both of them version 2 at this time. We're going to be using those inside of Mixamo, so let's jump over to Mixamo to get our animations. So go to Mixamo.com. It is a free account for using with your character. I'm going to upload my base character from my folder here. And if you're not sure where your folder is at, you can right click on it and go to Show in Explorer. And that will bring up the folder. So here's my animation targets. As you can see, I've got female animation target 2 and male animation target 2. So let's go back to Mixamo. And I want to drag in the female target animation 2. There we've got our base character. Of course, it's not the character I've created, but this, this allows us to apply the animations quickly and easily. So we'll click on Next, Next. It's uploaded. As I said, I want to do the chicken dance. We can select that. There's the character doing the chicken dance. I can then download it. Make sure that you're downloading it for FBX for Unity with skin. 30 frames per second will be fine. We'll click on download and save the file. There we go. It's now copied into my system. Do the exact same process for the male avatar. We'll also need the chicken dance. There's not a male chicken dance. Um, so, but you will need to apply this for the male avatar as well. So we'll set that aside. It is now downloaded. We need to copy what we just downloaded. Female chicken dance. Right there. I'm going to copy that. Back into my Ready Player Me resources animations female and right click and just paste that in or just drag it in if the paste isn't showing up there drag that in there's the female chicken dance I need to do the same thing for the male I've already downloaded that so should be ready to go male animation chicken dance added all right, so I've got my animations. Next thing we need to do is use your avatar loader to pull the characters from Ready Player Me into your project. So going back to our website, Ready Player Me, if you go over here to your characters, and I'm just going to add them all uh, one at a time. So copy the GLB, which is the new graphics library uh, system the binary version of that so we're going to copy that go up here to your URL paste that in and load the avatar I'm not using voice or eye animations with any of this so I should be fine on that there's my first character in I'm going to drag him over a little bit because I'm going to pull in all, all the other characters as well clear that out and let's copy each of these in real quick
and one last one. Okay, now we've got all of our characters in. We're ready to start adding the animations to our characters. Now that we've got our avatars in, let's rename them real quick. All right, those are in there now. Now we need a, a timeline if we're going to do a cinematic for our project. To bring the timeline up, you can go to Window, Sequencing, and Timeline. And that will open your timeline. Um, I've already drug it into the bottom portion of my screen here just to make life a little bit easier. So let's click on Create. Uh, you do need to create a timeline to for storing what's going to happen and you do need to have one of your main characters selected. I've got mail one currently selected so create and I want to save this to my assets folder so save and then I'm going to drag mail one in add it as an animation track and then I'm going to right click and add from animation clip and I want the chicken dance. And we can check and make sure that that's for the mail. Yes, it is. So we'll double click on that. And now that is drug in. Uh, might need to adjust your characters when you do the timeline. It will generally hop things around inside the environment. We'll show in a different video how to make adjustments to that. But I need to offset that character back to its original position and currently he is facing the wrong direction so let's change his rotation there we go and let's go ahead and get our other characters in here so we'll add male 2 and I'm going to copy the chicken dance to the same place um, again I want to change his location go and as you can see he's already rotated since I copied the chicken dance from the last one do the same whoops back to your male do the same with female 2 copy in the chicken dance again change her location and then finally female 1 drag that in as an animation track and paste in oops control V to paste in the chicken dance for her and again adjust her location now we do a scrub you see they're all doing the chicken dance and we've got a successful animation built into our game There they are, all dancing away. So, I'm doing a whole series of doing virtual production with Unity and with Unreal, so make sure you like and subscribe this video. If I, I'm also planning a series of tutorials on using the Character Creator 3 from Real Illusion and iClone for doing a similar set of animations. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to add some background scenes, post-production, maybe even some uh, special effects for particle effects for explosions or, you know, fireworks, something like that for them to go along with the chicken dance. You can easily add the chicken dance music to this. I'm excluding it for the video so that I don't get any kind of copyright strikes so we can um, continue to find some kind of financial reimbursement for the effort of creating these videos. You can also follow me on Patreon. Uh, link is in the description. Buy me a cup of coffee if you appreciated this video. Thanks!